Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kaval, PhD in Economics. Today our topic is Angel Curve and Income Consumption Curve. How does Angel Curve looks when the goods are normal, inferior, luxurious and neutral goods? So in this topic we shall learn that what is an Angel Curve, what is Angel's Law, what is the difference between Demand Curve and Angel Curve. What is the difference between income offer curve or income consumption curve and angel curve? How to derive angel curve from income consumption curve or when the goods are necessities? How does angel curve looks for luxurious goods? How to derive angel curve for inferior goods? How to derive angel curve for neutral goods? So this is our lecture plan that what is an angel curve? An angel curve reflects the income elasticity of demand and indicates whether the discussed goods is an inferior, normal, necessary or luxurious or neutral goods. An angel curve describes how much householder is paint on particular good or services with change income. An angel curve shows a consumer income effect on different goods. It shows the relationship between the income of consumer and quantity demand for good holding the price is constant. An angel curve measures the demand taking income into account. So what is an angel law who suggested this angel curve? A German economist and statistician Ernst Engel who born in 1821 and passed away in 1896 propounded this law in 1857 that Angel's law describes the relationship between household income and expenditure on particular goods or services. According to this law, with increase in income of family, the expenditure made on the purchase of necessary goods decreases. What is the difference between demand curve and angel curve? Demand curve depicts the inverse relationship between price level and quantity demanded holding the income test and fashion, price of related goods, number of customers constant. Whereas an angel curve shows the relationship between quantity demanded of one good. Remember angel curve shows the quantity demanded of one good for any given income, holding price and all else the same. So what is the difference between income offer curve or income consumption curve and angel curve? Hedden economics defined income offer curve that it depicts the optimal combination of two goods at different levels of income at constant prices satis paribus. When we talk about the income consumption curve it means we are concerned with two goods remember it. When we talk about an angel curve we are only concerned with one good whereas an angel curve shows the quantity demanded for one good at given level of income. However, the income consumption curve shows the optimal combination of commodity or preferences of consumer for both goods. Whereas an angel curve is drawn from income consumption curve which shows the preference for one commodity at different level of income. So now question arises how can we derive an angel curve from an income consumption curve when the goods are necessity. Necessary goods are those for which the income elasticity of demand is equal to 1. So the angel law told that with increase in income the demand for necessary good decreases. Income consumption curve gives set of combination of good X and good Y at various level of income. Here you can see in the graph that this is the income consumption curve. When the consumer income is 300 that is the income the consumer budget line is B1 and L1. This is the consumer budget line B1 and indifference curve is IC1 and consumer achieves equilibrium at or the consumer purchases OQ1 quantity of X commodity whereas at this point the consumer is purchasing this point the Y commodities quantity that is suppose equals to OG. 
when the income of consumer suppose increases from 300 to 400 as the consumer reaches at this level of income that is 400 the consumer shift towards a new budget line that is B2 and L2 where consumer achieves equilibrium at, at point S where the consumer purchases OQ2 quantity of X commodity and the OG1 let's suppose one of Y commodity the consumer income increases from 400 to 500 the consumer switches towards a new budget line at this point consumer achieves equilibrium at point T where consumer purchases OQ3 quantity of X commodity OG3 suppose Y commodity so by joining these points RST we get a curve that is income consumption curve now how to derive the angel curve from income consumption curve we just only place the quantity which the consumer has preferred at the given level of income so suppose we are going to plot the quantity selected by the consumer we are going to plot the quantity of x commodity on x axis and the given income of consumer on y axis when income of consumer is 300 the consumer purchases OQ1 of X commodity as the income increases with the same tendency from 300 to 400 the consumer is purchasing the O2 commodity as the consumer income increases from 400 to 500 with the same tendency the quantity demanded for X commodity increases from OQ2 to OQ3 by joining all these points we get a curve that is called angel curve so every uh, point on the r s t dash r dash s dash and t dash is in line with the r s t we can say that the income consumption curve is the locus of points display the consumption bundles selected for each level of income each point on an angel curve correspond to a relevant point on income consumption curve an angel curve traces the consumption of good x as income changes and good x is necessary good according to angel's law why we say that that the discussed good is necessary good because an angel curve slopes upward and opens up that illustrates that demand for necessary good x decreases with increase in income as the consumer moves from left to right however the income is increasing at the same constant rate how does angel curve looks for luxurious goods so lux income elasticity of demand for luxurious goods is more than one the major portion of income is spent on the purchase of such goods also i have uploaded one video on types of goods if you want to learn more about the types of goods from consumer point of view from producer point of view or from government point of view you can watch my video on the types of goods this is the angel curve angel curve for uh, luxurious goods at the when the consumer income is 300 the consumer is purchasing oq1 quantity of x commodity when the income of consumer increases from 300 to 400 the consumer is purchasing the oq2 quantity as the consumer income increases from 400 to 500 the quantity demanded by consumer increases from q2 to q3 so it means the major portion of the income is spent on the purchase of x commodity here the curve slopes upward from left to right as you can see in the diagram it means as consumer moves from left to right the consumer spends major share of his increased income on the purchase of good x according to Angie's law the discussed good is luxurious income however the income rises with the same rate angel curve for inferior goods look like this when the income of consumer is 300 the consumer is purchasing suppose this is the 50 units of commodity as the income increases from 300 to 400 the consumer is here with the 40 units of commodity at OQ dash 
as the consumer income increases from 400 to 500 the consumer purchases oq triple dash quantity of x commodity it means as the consumer income increases the consumer is purchasing less of commodity x so it means the commodity x is a inferior commodity for which the income elasticity of demand is less than 1 inferior goods are those goods for which the increase in income decrease the demand for that goods for example with increase in income of consumer that the consumer prefers to move in his own vehicle rather than the public transport so public transport demand decreases with increase in income so public transport is an inferior commodity an angel curve slopes upward from right to left with increase in income the demand for x commodity decreases and the said good is inferior as per angel's law angel curve for neutral goods the increase or decrease in income the demand for commodity x remains same so these are the neutral goods neutral goods are those goods that are related in such a way that increase in income or decrease in income does not increase the demand for such good or does not decrease the demand for good such as the demand for salt this is the neutral good with increase in income or decrease in income we shall not increase the demand for medicine or salt so the angel curve is vertical and parallel to y axis with increase or decrease in income the consumer purchases the same quantity of commodity x and the good is neutral good so it is all about the angel curve i hope that the angel curve would be clear to all of you if you have any query or any suggestions so let me know your feedback in comment box in the last but not least if you like this video please click the subscribe button so that you should get my notification about upcoming videos thanks for watching